Channel YouTube. Today, Sunday morning. Come out for a run. I'm only going to do a short run today, but I want to do some speed. So make it nice and hard in a short amount of time. So I come to this place. It's this new industrial area. They've started to build near where I live, but it's not used yet. I've been here before. And what I normally do is start off at this cover and sprint at the road. Um, obviously there's a metal fence there, so I've got to stop within time, but about level with that red sign takes about 20 seconds. You can't quite zoom in enough on Google Maps to um, really zoom in and measure it properly. So I'm not sure exactly how many meters it is, but um, I'll do a little walk through, talk through now, just to see what we're going to do without getting the tape measure out or come down here properly. I'm not really sure. So what I've done is so far, I ran here 0.92 miles, so just under a mile to get here in just about nine minutes. So I've stopped the talk now, so I'm at 10 minute miles, but I've talked to it. Um, I did go across this little unused bit and I got loads of mud on my trainers, so I've had to scrape off my feet because I'm going to do some sprints, so I need some grip. So I've got a bit of mud on the bottom, but that shouldn't be too bad. So I'm going to just show you what I'm going to do now. Start off this man cover. We're going to drag it up. I'll look at my watch and see what um, distance it is at the start and at the finish. So roughly we'll be able to work out how many meters it is. But basically I'm just going to sprint as many times as I can at full chat and then jog back and repeat. I think last time I did it 10 times or might have been 12, I'm not sure. So I'll go for about 10 or 12 times I'm going to sprint up, slow jog back, and go again. That'll be my rest, so no stopping. Just jog it out. So I'm on 0.92 now at the man cover. So this road is not used yet. These buildings are not occupied. So there should be no traffic here. Nice and safe. It's an unused road. Sometimes you get people coming here just to have a little look. Maybe they're future customers of the buildings. I'm not sure. Or maybe there's learner drivers doing some practicing. But usually there's no traffic here, so I can sprint up here with no worries. So sprint up here as fast as I can. I'm not as fast as I used to be, but there to there, ooh, 0.92 to one. So that's 0.8 of a mile. So I'm not sure that is in meters, but, and then I'll just take a slow jog back. So, um, I want to do some anaerobic work. I'm not sure really if this works out as anaerobic because it's such a short distance and it's a sprint effort, so it's like carbs, not fats. Your heart rate doesn't really change. And with the easy jog back, my heart rate drops quite lows off. So my heart rate shouldn't really go above 150 really. My watch won't recognize it as an anaerobic exercise, but I know that the muscles are doing speed and strength and stuff like that. So technically, it probably is anaerobic work, but my watch isn't going to tell me I've done any work. So yeah, back to start, 1.09 miles. I'll do a few efforts, then I might get the GoPro on the side so you can see me doing what I'm doing. I'm going to put my music back on now, no talking in the sprints. Maybe after the fifth effort, I might change the camera angle and show you and talk to you a little bit. You want to stop because like I said, my heart rate will be messed around with. All right, so get ready for effort number one. Hopefully I can edit this in landscape or portrait or whatever. And hopefully the uh, stabilization works and it's not too bouncy. So you can see sort of what I'm doing without feeling seasick. But uh, I need to go, I'm on a time structure really. So I need to get back at least 10 efforts. Up, jog back, up, jog back. Okay, effort number one. See my heart rate's only 120. I think I held my breath for most of that.
need to time the feet right for the speed bump. And they come nice and wide, turn the corner and go. Right, time, 36. Twenty four seconds. Okay YouTube, camera's back on, gloves are back on, session complete, well the interval's complete, I think that was 10, I might have lost count but I'm sure it was, 
and uh, I think maybe the fastest interval was about 23 seconds. So, um, I'm not sure how far that is. Maybe just above 100 meters or so. I don't know. I did repeat them 10 times, so speed's not going to be Usain Bolt. But um, I think they're all about the same. I can see when I get back. I couldn't really put much more effort into it because of grip. And I get old and not as fast as to be. But that was about 100% like effort I could do. I probably couldn't go any faster than that. And I think I did put effort in for the whole interval. I don't think I slowed down. Well, I didn't intentionally slow down. I didn't give up. So I'm just doing a little cool down sort of jog, but now outside the buildings, sticking to the pavement, I haven't crossed over any fences or gates. So I think I'm not trespassing. But I've done about 2.8 miles. By the time I get back, it'll be 3.8. So I can combine it up to make it four. That'll be okay. Whew. As I said at the beginning, I don't think my heart rate went much over 140, maybe 150 for a couple of seconds, but so technically I might not have been anaerobic, but each sprint is only 20 seconds, 20 times 10, 200 seconds, that's only just over three minutes. So, I don't think it's going to be much of a percentage of my whole run anyway. So, um, I don't think I'll watch or say anaerobic, even though it was a sprint effort. But, it's good though. It's good to do something different. Use the little muscles I don't normally use of a blowout, pushing some efforts, see if I've still got it. And also, it's good to, uh, hang on, I have to double check, I miss anything. Hat, scarf, gloves, GoPro, phone, yeah. Also, it's good to do some efforts to blow out the cobwebs, a bit of adrenaline, aggression, 100% effort. See if I've got what it takes to put the effort in, like giving up. A bit like a man test. Oh, shouldn't say man test, a they test. Okay, so first just gone three miles. By the time I jog it back now, it'll probably say 3.9. So I might do a, a bit of a detour in this state to make it 10. As I said, I'm not bothered about the distance because I've done some stops and starts. An average pace will be messed up because I've been stopping and talking and stuff. So average pace in a minute is like 11.50. Moving pace will be a bit better than that, but I'm not worried about that. That's not the goal of the day. What I might do is, when I go back, work out what my heart rate is in the anaerobic zone, and then plan some workouts where I do, say, two minutes at aerobic pace, anaerobic pace. It's hard to work out, though, what minute miles that'll be. I can roughly look at the graph and see at what pace I was doing, what heart rate. Or set the Garmin, 
to guess it for me. So it'll bleep if I'm going too high, or bleep if I'm going too low. And then do like two minute efforts instead of 20 seconds. I think a 20 second effort will be good for building pure acceleration and max speed. But then once you've got that max speed in the bag, you need to work on speed endurance. So make it longer and longer. So I could spin for 45 seconds and then a minute. Obviously that's going to be, oh, feel a bit warm now. Gloves, neck warmer, hat, don't really need them today. Yesterday, the first video I made in the car, talking about the plan for the day. I think I deleted it by mistake. So I did weigh myself in the morning, that was 184. When I got back, I did a body fat test. Right. Lost those man. 12 of body fat. I've lost 2.5 pounds of fat. Gained 2.5 pounds of muscle. Yes, that's how the body weight stays exactly the same since October. 